So you may want to pull up stakes and head to the Cayman Islands. 80 degrees year-round sounds pretty darn good. Why would American want to live in the Cayman Islands? Island? Yeah. Why, why not, right? Shamari Scott is a resident of the Cayman Islands, working in tourism for years. We spent time with him at his new job at Health City, one of the premier destinations for medical tourism. So absolutely great medical care is a big draw now for the Caymans. Two more reasons, the Cayman's growing tourism and financial services industry, which means it is great for expats from around the world. What that has allowed us to do is, within 55,000 people, we have over 150 different nationalities. So we're very accepting of other nationalities. Uh, we have first-class infrastructure. We're always the cutting edge when it comes to um, anything to do business-wise from an infrastructure standpoint, um, as well as from a legal standpoint. We have many professionals here, legal professionals, accounting professionals. Across the entire gamut, we have those professionals here. We also are called the culinary capital of the Caribbean. So by having so many different nationalities within, if you want authentic, authentic Italian food, you'll get it. You want authentic Indian food, you'll get it. Authentic Caribbean, you'll get it. Anything you want from a culinary perspective, it's here, um, as well as it's a great place to raise your family. And you don't have to worry about not getting the best education as well. We have the British system, we have the American system, we have varied systems from an education standpoint that you can pick and choose where you'd like to send your kids. While being a UK territory, there's a local government rule as well. British accent, not necessary. Are there drawbacks? Well, sure. Island fever is one, and the constant 80 degrees may make you miss some temperate weather, although that would definitely not be me, <laughs> or the distance from your family may be hard for some. Two, the Caymans are not cheap. This is not a developing country. For a couple to live comfortably, you will need about $6,500 a month coming in. Monthly rent is anywhere from $1,500 to $3,000 for a furnished place. Food is also a bit more expensive as it has to be shipped here. One tip is to only buy produce you are going to eat straight away. And most likely you will need to buy a car which is a little bit more costly there. But if you're looking to escape, this is a fabulous place that you should consider. If you live there or if you have lived there, give us your opinion. And if there are other places you want us to explore for you, tweet us at UC Foodie TV or check us out on Facebook.